for North Sydney. Mr Speaker, thank you very much. One of the most important opportunities we have as elected representatives in this parliament is to work with young people in our own local communities. It's an important part of our role because everything we do in this chamber should be about securing a better future for their generation. Our work with young Australians reminds us that our responsibilities should not just be set with a three-year horizon. Our goal must be to create for the future an economic and social environment more prosperous, exciting and rewarding than we ourselves have enjoyed. I represent an area which has one of the highest concentrations of schools in Sydney, and they represent both the finest of government and independent schools. I am particularly proud of their successes and those of their students in academia, the arts, sport and the community. I am also always impressed with the understanding students at both the primary and secondary levels have of our political system and their inquisitive minds about current political issues. I was reminded of this just today as I spoke with students from the new Anzac Park Public School during their Parliament House visit, or last Tuesday as I met with Year 6 students at Loretto Kirribilli who grilled me for more than an hour about politics and policy. What also inspires me is the leadership and community service undertaken by students of all ages. It is easy to criticise those generations that follow us as we look through things through our own rose-coloured glasses and lose a little bit of memory about what life was like when we were young ourselves. Often we hear that Gen Y and the millennials are too self-centred and impatient. I've occasionally accused some of my own staff of being just that. Yet what I see as I meet with students across my electorate are a group of young people who are incredibly aware of the world around them and the challenges we face as a society. A generation who willingly give their time to support others through community and charity work. I find this at every school, be it the Year 7 students at Winona I met with, with recently who are trying to establish a charity to help those with Rett syndrome, or the North Sydney Boys High School students I door knock with, with during last year's Red Shield appeal, or the boys from Maris College who are determined to make a difference in educating their own peers and generation about domestic violence, or the many schools in my electorate who take a deep and compassionate view of Australia's role in supporting refugees. This spirit of community service is encouraged by our local schools and they are to be congratulated for their efforts. I also want to acknowledge the leadership shown by many students with their own school, within their own school communities. School captains and prefix, prefects in both primary and secondary schools play an important role and I'm always wowed when I attend annual presentation days to hear the speeches given by Year 6 and Year 12 school captains. I only wished I had their oratory schools when I was their age, and I'm particularly grateful that they're not yet eligible to stand for parliament. Last week, I had the opportunity to meet with the current crop of Year 12 student leaders when I hosted lunch for them in the New South Wales parliament. It was an opportunity for me to both congratulate school captains on taking on the responsibilities of leadership in their busiest of school years, and also to hear their views on the issues we face as a nation and as a community. All were impressive young men and women, dedicated to their fellow students and the broader community. They raised with me issues ranging from encouraging women into STEM subjects, to climate change, to LGBTI rights and housing affordability. Their understanding of current political issues was impressive. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of those elected to leadership positions and to record their service in the parliamentary record. Those serving as school captains in my electorate this year include from Chatswood High School Nick Robwell and Rachel Aquino, from Hunters Hill High School Matthew Gray and Bridget Villasmil Rivas, from North Sydney Boys High School Alan Berzewski, from North Sydney Girls Emily Kim, from Rivers Riverside Girls High Aileen Howe, from Willoughby Girls Samsitha Iver, from Loretto Curabilly, the uh, incredibly questioning Mia Toda from Maris College North Shore, William Fraser and Luca Flanagan, from Maris Sisters College, Phoebe McDermott and Bellana Callis, Mercy College, Catholic College, Alex Swanson, Monte San Angelo, Mercy College, Kate McNamara, St Aloysius Lewis McNamara, from St Ignatius Riverview, Jesse Gray, from St Pius Joseph Unwin, from Shaw, Max Sinclair and Toby Hoggart, 
from Skeg Redlands, Annie Ryan and Bernardo Kroll, and from Winona, Charlotte North. They are incredible student leaders and I congratulate them on their service.